everyone, Emmanuel quickly is here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll bring you into the room. BJ from Next Digital. Hey, quick, uh, third time around against Milwaukee. What are some of the things you guys learned from the past that you're going to apply for tonight? Um, first of all, Milwaukee's a great team, and we have to respect that they're a great team, but also come out uh, with the edge. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. The teams that have beat them uh, come out with the edge. They come out with intensity, um, and they just match their effort uh, from the start of the game to the end. So that's probably going to be the biggest thing. Um, not too many X's and O's that we, you know, we talk about it, but obviously trying to guard Giannis and Chris Middleton, we we know we know what they bring to the table, but just really energy and effort uh, is going to be the biggest thing. Jeff Bondi. Hey, Emmanuel. Um, Kenny Payne, there's there's reports out of DePaul that they're um, looking to hire him as the head coach, and I know how much you know he's helped you through the years. What you know. What can you say about him as a coach, and what, what do you think he'd be as a um, as a head coach in the NCAA? Um, I don't know too much about it, but if if he was to coach somewhere else, I know he would be a great coach just because of uh, who I've gotten to, how I've gotten to know him as not only a coach but as a person. He puts his players first. Uh, he'll be there with you early in the morning, late at night, uh, take you to lunch, help you with your homework. So you know he's kind of like almost like a father figure, and you know he would be great wherever he's at. But you know we. Glad and blessed to have him here in New York. Greg Joyce. Hey, Emmanuel. What is it meant to have Kenny here, especially your rookie year, just to kind of help you with that transition and everything? It's been great. Um, like I said, you know, he's been almost like a father figure to me. Uh, I have my dad, so I don't need anybody going out saying, do you have a dad or something like that. I have my dad. Uh, he's just been another, you know, guy that's been in my life, and he's helped me on and off the court. Uh, basketball, late nights in the gym, you know, we watch film together. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've gotten to know them since I was in high school. And, you know, for me to have him high school, college, and now pros has uh, been an unbelievable experience. And, you know, I hope I can continue to uh, continue to keep working with him. EJ, Next Digital. Yeah, just looking back at last game real quick and how loud the fans got in the fourth, how good has it been to have fans back in the garden? It's been great. Uh, I haven't been able to experience, you know, everybody uh, in the in their seats, and it's, it already seems like it's a full packed up Madison Square Garden. So I can't wait to see what it's like when everybody's there and, and ch chanting defense and things like that. You know, I get the goosebumps already, so uh, it can only get better. Rebecca Harlow. Hey, Emmanuel. I was talking to RJ about going against you in that World Cup game and he said the thing that he remembers about you is your aggressiveness what do you remember about rj from that game uh 40 points 10 rebounds 10 assists that's probably the thing i remember the most uh, he just killed us <laughs> uh but you know he was the leader of, he's been kind of like the leader of canadian basketball as far as the younger guys go for a while you know playing up playing above his age uh, and he led that team to uh, some historic stuff. So, um, you know, you see what he's doing now, and it should be no surprise that he was killing when he was younger. So, Pat O'Keefe. Emmanuel, just the way that you guys were able to win that game the other night when it looked like it wasn't going to be your night, you weren't playing well for much of it, what does it say about the team that you were able to end that night with a victory? Uh, says a lot about the team's resiliency, uh, our togetherness, our unity, our toughness. Um, I think all of those characteristics embody who we are. Uh, that's what we strive to be every day. Uh, on and off the floor, we want to be the, the toughest, most together team that we can be. Uh, and that'll give us the sh a shot to win, you know, no matter who we play or, or what night we play on. So uh, that's just who we want to be. Steve Popper. Hey, Emmanuel, just uh, one more thing on Kenny. Um, was he, uh, I know you said you knew him in high school, was he the, the primary re guy recruiting you? And also just as a teacher, is he very different college to pros with what you guys, I guess, know in the pros? Um, Coach AP, he was one of the guys who recruited me. Uh, Coach Joel Justice was another primary guy who recruited me. And then also Coach Cal was, was another guy. But um, I forgot your second question. Oh, how, how, how's he different from college? Uh, he's exactly the same person, has not changed. He sometimes forgets that we have a game the next day and he'll still try to go just as hard as if he was in college and played on a Tuesday, Saturday. But, uh, you know, that's why you love him because, you know, he's going to work 
just as hard as you, as much as you want the success, he's going to push you uh, to go get that. So that's why we respect him. That's why we love him. We have time for two more questions. Peter Body. Emmanuel, how is uh, how has Derek looked in, in practice uh, the last few days um, as he's kind of regaining conditioning and sharpness? And and how important will it be for you guys to get him back on the court? Uh, well, we haven't done too much, so it's you know it's kind of hard to get a feel. Uh, so we don't really know what to expect yet. But uh, I know Derek is is tough as they come, so you know we'll just see what happens. And and I know he's going to continue to keep working hard. Jeff Bondi. Hey, man, you, lately you guys have been really close against um, the top teams in the Eastern Conference, the Sixers, the Bucks, and the Nets, but you haven't got a win yet. Is it important to uh, get over that hump, so to, so to speak? Uh, I feel like, yeah, uh, we beat the Bucks before, uh, but, um, you know, any, any team we come out and play, we try to play with that same edge, that same toughness that we come out. Um, play with any team because every every team can beat you and you can beat every team. So you just want to come out uh, every night and just give it your best and, and live through it.